Good morning again. Uh, I'm standing in a place which, interestingly enough, is, uh, is of historical interest to those of us who live in, in Hermanus. Dotted around the cliff path are a whole host of benches. Most of them, if not all of them, have been erected by people in memory of some uh, family member who has died. Um, this bench, whilst it has now been named after another family, originally was put in place in memory of a young South African who won the Victoria Cross in the First World War, Lance Corporal William Henry Hewitt. Um, the story of how he won that Victoria uh, Cross is, is pretty, pretty dramatic. But suffice it to say, he went up running in the face of enemy fire, uh, attacked a, a pill box. There's one of these concrete structures that they used to have in the First World War. It was the Battle of Ypres. It was around about the 9th of September, 1917. And he got badly wounded, but he just kept going, going, going. And for his bravery, he was awarded the Victoria Cross. Um, he came back to live in Hermanus, and he spent a lot of time here, just sitting quietly. And a bench was put up by his family after he died in 1966. And uh, um, that bench fell into disrepair. And after many years, another family took it over, repaired it, and it is now in memory of them. But one of the reasons I like this particular seat is because I imagine young William Henry Hewitt sitting here uh, trying to just get to terms with, the, with the, the carnage and the horror of the First World War because clearly this was a place where he found peace. Now I like to sit here often and, and there's a, a, a gully down here on high tide. The water comes surging in here. It slams into the rock and it sends enormous spray into the sky. And when I see that, I always think of Psalm 46, which is a psalm for us in these turbulent times. God is our refuge and strength, a present help in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear that the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and surge and the mountains quake and tremble with its roaring. So imagine that. Trauma, turbulence, and here sits young uh, William, um, what was his name? Here sits young William Hewitt, that's him, having one of those moments. And just finding peace in the midst of all the, the turmoil going on in his mind and in his soul. Have you ever felt like that? Hey, let me tell you, this is a good place to come, just to connect with nature and to connect with the sea. God's presence is here. The Spirit of the Lord, we read in Genesis chapter 1, hovered over the, over the surface of the waters. But Psalm 46 goes on, not just to talk about the, 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 the catastrophic and cataclysmic events of nature. It goes on to say these words, Be still and know that I am God. And I like to think that that is what Hewitt found in this place. It's the noise, the turbulence of the waters behind me. He found a peace and he knew the reality of those words. Be still and know that I am God. So if you live in Hermanus, why don't you spend more time here on the cliff path? You know, it's, it's very accessible and it's very safe. And it's a place where we really can get to know God and just sense his presence with us. Be still and know that I am God. God be with you. We'll chat again in the morning.